Hey there, we're taking a look at the brand new game of Rainbow Six Extraction running on the i5-1135G7. Now the game has a variety of different presets and a built-in benchmark, so I decided to use it to try to see what would be a good baseline. Unfortunately, at 1080p, it seems like the best baseline is the ultra-low settings. Now the game does have a wide variety of different presets, but you are not going to be able to use much of anything, at least at 1080p. You could see ultra low and very low are still not in playable territory. They're relatively comparable, but there's just really not a playable number coming out of this. Really though, jumping into the actual game, it's just not playable at 1080p. 1080p has been absolutely brutal to try to get through. The frame times were just absolutely painful. They are just consistently bad. The 1% lows are brutal. The averages are brutal. It was just not a fun experience to play like this. And the game does have other issues, but for one, just 1080p is not going to be possible. No matter all of these different like graphical settings, even the lowest one is not really playable. And all of that is really surprising to me because Rainbow Six Siege actually ran really well on this chip. So I'm surprised to see that this has regressed so badly. I think though that this game is in need of a driver update. And you'll see because when we play this at 720p, the performance is a lot better. It's pretty playable. But there is a lot of artifacting that happens. A lot of artifacting. And it happens at 1080p as well. But at 720p, I don't know. I guess maybe it's because I played longer at 720p that I started to see it a lot more. But especially with uh, certain special units, it will cause this to happen. They have like their own little effects and they just start to cause everything to glitch out. It, it As the game progresses and these missions just throw a lot more things at you, it will become nauseating to have all of that just flashing on the screen at you all the time. It's, it's, pretty, br it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And there's different kinds. You know, like here, in specifically in this area, the artifacting got really brutal. I was expecting the game to crash at some point. It just, it never did. I played this for a good while. It was about like an hour or two. I was just playing it and yeah, no. Yeah, see that, that one right there was also a really brutal one. It was just not really something that I would expect someone to be okay with while playing a game, you know? Like, it's very distracting, and it gets very annoying. And, I mean, I don't think it's my system. I don't think it's, like, dying or anything like that. It seems to be working perfectly fine in every other game. It's just this one that has been giving me these issues. So, I think it's probably in due of an Intel driver update. God knows when that'll happen. I mean, there's games from, like, years ago that are still waiting for that good old Intel patch. So, uh, who knows when that will happen. Sure, if, it, if there's anything we've learned this month, it's that Ubisoft doesn't really care about updating their games to run on Intel chips. Hopefully, with the near launch of Intel's dedicated GPUs, we'll get something better. But, I mean, we are literally months away from these Intel GPUs. And this is how a brand new game is running on their chips right now. And I don't know when there's going to be a driver update for it. And that, of course, seems to be the recurring issue with these Intel chips. There has been so many brand new games that I have tested out that have had issues and they need driver updates and who knows when they will actually come. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. I will see you guys next time. I'm going to throw in a little bit more gameplay here at the end so you can just see how absolutely annoying this artifacting can get.